Hey, so I'm about to do a quick tutorial on if you're a speaker in one of the villages um, and what that means for you. Um, give me a second. All right, so when you enter Hopin, you should find a navigation depending on your browser and if you're using mobile or something else, it may depend where it is, but you're looking for sessions. So once you click on sessions, depending whether you are a CTF speaker or a teen village speaker or a mental health hackers speaker or a soldering village speaker, you're going to want to find your correct session and click on it. As you join, you should get the option to share audio and video. It will then prompt you to select which audio device and which web camera you want to use. And then it starts sharing and that's instantaneous. So everyone who is currently in the session will be able to see what you're doing right now. Um, up in the top right, you can see that we can have up to five things present on this screen at any given time. There's only one person, myself, watching the stream right now. I also have a leave button. If I click leave, it says, are you sure? Because I'm going to have to re-request and I say yes. So that would be how I would end my feed. So I'm going to share audio and video again. And it remembered because last time I checked off, I wanted it to remember my audio and video. All right, other important parts of the stage. Chat is where the attendees and yourself can have a text conversation. People will show you a list of people associated with this little I right there of how many people are watching you right now. I think that's only an admin option, so you won't get that option, sorry. Technically below the stage, uh, there is information. It's got our sponsors, so you can tell people to go ahead and scroll down to see all of our sponsors. If one of the villages needs us to add any URL links there, the admins can go in and do that as well. So other useful things. If I want to temporarily disable my video, that's the movie camera icon. Just click it. It'll show your avatar that you've selected. If you want to change your avatar, you need to uh, change your profile. And so in your profile, uh, you've got your name, your last name. We're asking volunteers to put volunteer in there, speakers, you don't need to worry about doing anything. Uh, and then that's your picture. You can upload any JPEG. If you want to mute, you can hit that mute. I'm going to turn those back on. The show more information just does that thing that I showed you. Now here's the important part, sharing your screen. So if I want to share something, either a PowerPoint presentation or my desktop, I'm going to click that. And I may get a permissions pop up on my browser if this is the first time that I'm doing it. You're going to want to allow hop in to share your screen. So I have three options here because I'm using Chrome. This may vary depending on your browser. I can share my entire screen. I can share a window. I can share a specific Chrome tab. So I am going to go ahead and share my entire screen. And there we go. You can see the screen being displayed here. That's one of my other monitors. And then there's a small picture of me down below. If I want to stop, I can just hide myself there. And so this way everyone can see what I am doing. Ta-da, maybe I'm showing off a terminal window or whatever. So depending whether you have a PowerPoint presentation, uh, et cetera, will depend. Then here at the bottom, it says that hop in sharing it. You can just hit stop sharing for it to stop sharing. And then I become larger again. And that's really all there is to it. So I suggest before you request to share audio and video, 
you hopefully have either the tab or the application with your slide deck ready. I seriously recommend having two monitors, uh, if at all possible. There is a Hopin mobile app if you wanted to maybe keep the Hopin chat going on your mobile device to make things a little bit easier. Sorry. Um, I think really that's about it. The only other thing to note is we are trying to have what we're calling Master of Ceremonies or MCs in each one of the rooms. The idea is that this will be someone to fill the time between each one of the speakers by chit-chatting, um, basically improv filling the time. Hopefully as you come on and are trying to figure out sharing your screen, they can keep talking about your topic. Um, I'll be doing a MC training video next, which is basically just gonna give a few pointers to the MCs. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them in Slack. As we mentioned, there was a test instance, there is a test instance up, and we highly recommend you join the test instance if you have never done this and used Hopin before, uh, just so that you can feel more comfortable.